it's human nature to invent, right? It's human nature to try to make your life better. It's human nature to try to uh, you know, make the world around you a better place. And uh, what stops people is to actually do that and to execute on all those ideas. It's really freaking hard. The mission of the business is to make invention accessible, right? To make it possible for all people to execute on their great ideas, regardless of their luck, their circumstance, or their pedigree, um, to give everyone a chance. So if you submitted a product idea, what would happen is uh, this community of folks would come in and vote and rate and comment and enhance and refine your idea so as to either tell you that that idea isn't that great or to tell you that it is fantastic and help us as Quirky bubble up the best ideas to the top of the pot every week. We then take the ideas at the top of the pot every week and we hold a big good old fashioned debate every Thursday night. All right, we are up. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Quirky Product Evaluation. We basically talk it out. We talk about sort of all the top ideas and whether or not those could turn into viable products. The purpose of this is to crown brand new inventors. This week, thousands of ideas were submitted to Quirky.com, but only 12 have made it here to Quirky Product Evaluation. And that first idea comes from a quirky inventor named Kirk Spiegel. He wanted to create an electronic motorcycle steering damper that senses the road hazards and activates steering dampening to prevent motorcycle accidents. So, who wants to explain this one? <laughs> so what happens next? So the idea has gone through that community. It seems like it shows some promise. What, what happens? We'll start sketching. We'll start doing some research. So we'll do everything from industrial design to mechanical engineering, to picking the colors and materials and the finishes. Now, our expert team here does a lot of that work, but at the same time, the community has a say and, and, and an impact at every step of the process. We purposely do not take any intellectual property rights from you until we tell you that we're gonna make your, your product, until we tell you that we're gonna go through the design phases and actually figure out the engineering and figure out how it's, how it's actually gonna work. So we actually share 10% of our uh, of our offline revenue and 30% of our online revenue back with the community. And we share that royalty, not just with the inventor, but with the community of people that help that inventor. Our average product is actually owned, created, influenced by over a thousand people. We give these people an opportunity to literally see their ideas up to their full potential. This one takes us out of our comfort zone. Uh, maybe we move forward you know, on a sort of alternative track with Kirk and try to help him commercialize his product and make more than 10 of these things. Yeah, I think it's a... Uh, Is everyone in favor of that? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. What does the community think on that? Um, they, they like it, and especially the people in the comments who were motorcycle riders said that they love the idea. Congratulations to Kirk. You are now a quirky inventor.